for the latest on the ground, then we'll cross to our special correspondent in Kyiv, Cyril Payan. Uh, good morning, Cyril. So you were in the capital at the start of the war. You're back now. You've also kind of crossed the country. What have you seen now, nearly three months into the invasion? Well, I can tell you we have been uh, driving and they uh, uh, through for the last 24, 24 hours to come here. And it's a huge difference from what we have been experiencing, as you say, a few weeks ago. It's a sunny day, as you can see. And I don't know if you can uh, have a look. We are in just now in central Kiev and apart from the monuments which have been uh, uh, protected by local uh, uh, armed force just to uh, when they, the, the, the city was uh, under a siege, we were besieged, we were at the front in the west, whereas an imminent assault by the Russian forces. This was weeks away, weeks away, and it looks like it was an era away. Because now it looks like, and this is the whole contradiction of the war in Ukraine since the invasion three months ago by the Russian forces, is that it looks like the west of the country and here the capital city where we're standing now is trying uh, to revive. There is a 20% inflation. There are queues, kilometers of queues of people trying desperately to get some gasoline. So life is not back to normal. But everybody here is trying to get back to work, get, getting back to uh, a sense of normality. And this is also the paradox of this war. It's like we know, and everybody knows that, and this is looking at the uniforms you can see all over, all over the, even the capital city and other parts of the, of, the, of, the, of the country. It's like um, a few hundred kilometers away from where we're standing on the uh, southwest and, and east uh, uh, southeast and south uh, and east front war is raging uh, bombardments the russian invasion is spreading also all all over this all over the, the place so it looks like very much we're living in this uh, um, in this paradox of having this sense of normality trying to come back here. Uh, I can tell you that we were here two months ago and it was martial law. It was the curfew, very strong curfew implemented by everybody at 7 p.m. Now the curfew is from 11 to 5 a.m. And uh, uh, you have restaurants, you have, uh, uh, again, a sense of normality. Everything is quite open. And it, again, it's a sunny day, which is, which is also making life be, uh, looking like a uh, normal. It's as, as if uh, it was a symbol. We are here in the historical central Kiev, and you can see this Soviet era, uh, which is a monument, which is the Ark of Freedom. It was um, built by the, the Soviets during the, uh, the presence of the Soviets in Ukraine. And now some our local artists did uh, a crack in this uh, monument. So it looks like the era we are living now, the time we are living uh, now, while the, the war is still raging at the east, hundreds of kilometers away from my understanding. This is a change of era, and everybody here, as a symbol of this uh, monument, wants to turn the page of the relationship between Ukraine and Russia. I certainly recall you, Cyril, reporting in Kiev, indeed, a couple of months ago to empty streets. It looks like the situation has indeed changed. People walking around, cars circulating. So life is picking up in Kiev, like you say, but that's far from being the case in the east, isn't it? Yes, indeed. And uh, everybody is extremely focused on re returning to a kind of, uh, of normality, of course. But everybody is also extremely worried by comrades, uh, brothers, members of the families who have been deployed uh, in the Eastern Front. The key is like everybody is thinking now, what, 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 what is all about? Are we going to, to have a, a sense of the same scenario as in 2013, but in a larger uh, paradigm, in a larger uh, spectrum, meaning that some part of Donbass, some part of the Crimea will be uh, besieged or just taken uh, by the Russians and it will be it. And then the Ukraine will be again at war. There is a sense also in the population mind here that we want to really turn the page with this war and go further. The sense also of when we talk to people here is that, is that uh, the forces are deployed the West is behind uh, the Ukrainian forces, and it looks like the counter-offensives we, we, have, we have been experiencing and seeing in the past uh, days or weeks uh, from the Ukrainian force make, it, make the feeling that uh, they won't really want to push maybe the Russians out, even if it's not, not by, by the next 24 hours, it will take time. But it looks like people just want to have the same scenario of 2013 after the Crimea war, when we had the uh, uh, normality in some part of, the, of Ukraine and the war raging uh, in the other part of the country. Cyril Payan, thank you so much for that reporting.